Honey, I'm pregnant. Oh, what? This has got to be a joke. What is this, April Fool's Day? I know it's going to be really tough, but if we cut back on our expenses, I know we can make this work. Any questions? Well, I guess the only question is, when's the baby shower? I love you. I love you too, honey. Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5 The Dream Child was released on August the 11th, 1989. They only had a budget of $8 million to make this film. Well, I hope you brought the diaper bag with you because this film raked in $22.1 million at the box office. Some say this film should have been aborted, but it was directed by Stephen Hopkins. Tell the family I'm going out for a pack of cigarettes and this film stars Robert England. Lisa Wilcox, Kelly Jo Minter, Erica Anderson, Danny Hassel, Beatrice Boeppel, that's a mouthful, Whit Hertford, and finally, Nicholas Meal. Another round of New Line Cinema. Bob Shea took my money again. Notice how they tried to go with a new Nightmare logo for part five? Please don't ever try that again. Nothing like a Lifetime-esque sex scene to get your bones going for a horror film. Talk about a bad dream. You're taking a hot shower and then all of a sudden you're dumped into the Springwood Insane Asylum circa 1949. Come on and hurry up with the counting, okay? I got a date with some hottie. World's largest gangbang right here, ladies and gentlemen. Debbie Does Dallas eats your heart out. The first class of teenagers to make it to their graduation in a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Round of applause. You guys down to get a large amount of cocaine for the evening? We may need to stay up for a couple nights, okay? So let's... Hey, Mark, it's picture time. Come get immortalized. Parents and brats. Don't scare me like that. I'm pregnant with Freddy Krueger's baby. You know you're fucked when you're seeing the Elm Street kids in your dreams. You want to know where dream demons come from? women's vaginas. Baby Freddy's adorable. You just want to dress him up in a little sweater and take him home. Coochie coochie coo! That's why you never stand in front of a window during a hurricane. Guess who's back? Back again. Freddy's back. Tell a friend. Yeah, Freddy found the key all right. Demon semen. So where was Amanda Kruger the first four films? Sure, she shows up in Dream Warriors, but in The Dream Child? She's in her mid-30s and she shows up ready to fuck Freddy up. You can see that Alice was four hours late to her shift at the Craven. If one hour goes by and she doesn't show up for her shift, I'm calling the boss all like, Hey Wes, that Alice chick, she still hasn't shown up. You better get your ass down here, because in ten minutes, I'm walking, baby. I love how it takes one little nod and BAM, you're in the nightmare. That's some good advice from Freddy right there. If your kid's fucking up, Kill the little piggy. Problem solved. Ew, tastes like shit. Bad year, Dan. Fuel injection. I can't tell. Is that Freddy's throat or Alice's vagina? How fast was that semi going down a residential street to cause that car to burst into flames? Fuck you, Hollywood. Didn't she just get pregnant like the day before? How can they tell already? Must be that demon semen from Freddy gets you pregnant just like that. Bitch, you dreamed that little kid up! Let's keep this dream talk to a minimum, okay? Amanda Kruger was part of a religious order that ran that asylum in the 1940s. Bitch, what did I say to you about the dream talk? What's the 411 on you being sober here, Pops? That better not be gin I smell on your breath, old man. You gotta pay top dollar for a service like this these days. You can see by this demonstration that Freddy's gonna be a great father by the end of this movie. That's the kind of note I leave my wife every morning on the fridge. Nah, dude, commit to it. You told her to fuck off, now let her fucking walk off. Bunch of pussies in this movie. How long was she gone making coffee? The dude straight up drew up Freddy's house and then went and took a nap on his bunk bed. From that angle, it kind of looks like the inside of Freddy's butthole. Yo, what's up, Jacob? You don't look very well. You kind of look a bit malnourished. A kid can't live off a diet of souls forever. Soul food for my boy! 
best line in the movie right there. Kruger is the father of my baby. Blah, blah, blah. Two minutes into this film, they could have nipped the whole Freddy Krueger problem with one trip to Planned Parenthood. Get the fuck out of here with this whole adoption garbage. These two should be planning out their retirement, seeing as how Dan the Man ain't around anymore. Yo, so this bitch committed suicide? So we gots to break her out of purgatory, dog. What is this chick's problem? Obviously, Yvonne's in distress over her two friends dying, and this chick gets offended. Freddy's killing the wrong teenagers, dude. Let's watch Freddy do a jump off the high dive right here. What do you think the pH balance is in a tub like that? How convenient the sifter for poo was right there. Greta finally got fat just to piss her mom off. Oh look, Mark finally gets to live out his superhero fantasy. Yeah, let's parody Superman. What can go wrong? Other than destroying the entire Nightmare franchise. Oh wow, Alice, you slept through that entire murder? I dare you to type in abandoned psych ward into YouTube. Go ahead, I'll wait. She must be taking some sleep medication to keep passing out like that. Freddy keeps hearing Alice screaming about it, that she's gonna kill him. He's like enough with the baby mama drama. One down, only 500 more to go. Hey Freddy, this is what it's like to get raped by a hundred maniacs. Mommy, meet my friend. Honey, please step away from the pedophile. Talk about being up all in her insides. What the fuck did that mushmouth kid just say there? That soul food really didn't sit right with my tummy. Stay back! Take your baby and leave! I'm gonna throw myself down the stairs real quick! Dad, get away from the baby! You still reek like gin! Oh shit, it's the Elm Street kids again! You know what that means. A Nightmare in Elm Street Part 6. Will Freddy Krueger ever really be dead? The end!